Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly use your Reminder app. There are so many things you can do on there and we don't know even half of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's get into this video. Why the Reminder app is so great, you can use Siri to set reminders for you. So you can just tell Siri to set the reminder for you for let's say tomorrow at 4 and then she will set the reminder for you. So you don't have to go on your phone in the app and set a reminder manually but you can do that as well. So if you go into your Reminders app, there is your Reminders. So let's ask Siri to set us a reminder. Set a reminder for lunch date tomorrow at 12. Okay, the reminder is set for tomorrow noon. So there Siri set my lunch date. So let's ask Siri to set a reminder for today. Set a reminder for 10 a.m. today film. Okay, add it to today's reminders. There it's added. So there my reminder went off for 10 a.m. And then you can say mark as complete, remind me in an hour. Remind me this afternoon or remind me tomorrow. So let's mark as complete. You can also ask Siri to set a reminder for you in six hours. Set a reminder for me for six hours to water my plants. Okay, add it to today's reminders. And you can also say for her to remind you in three days. For example, if you say Remind me in three days, it's Laura's birthday. Okay, your reminder is set for Sunday. Did you know you can set your reminder so that it makes a sound so you will know when it goes off? So you go to settings, notifications, and scroll down till you find reminders. There you go. And then you say sounds. So there you can set the sound that you want. So let's set it as circles. Okay, and then you're done. So while we're here on the reminder settings, you can say whether alerts can occur so on your lock screen notification or as your banner. But if you don't want it to say, for instance, with your notifications, you can just unselect the button. So just something to know that if you say set reminder for the morning, it will set at 7 a.m. If you set reminder for afternoon, it will set at 12 p.m. If you set reminder for evening, it will set at 6 p.m. And if you set a reminder at night, it will set at 7 p.m. So if you go to your personal account and add a home or work address, remind me when I get home to call Chris. Okay, your reminder is set. So when I get home, the reminders app will remind me. So you can also set recurring reminders. So as you can see, Siri made a mistake with one of the reminders. And here I just changed it manually. So you can just tap on there and then you can type what you want. And if you click the I button, there you can name it. There you can add notes or a URL. There you can change the date. So here you can go and change the date which you want and the time. So if you want it to repeat, you can say hourly, daily, weekly, yearly, whatever you want. So let's just say monthly and repeat and repeat date. And then you can select when you don't want it to reoccur. You can also ask Siri to set a reminder for you to know to go back to this page that you haven't finished looking at and you had to go. So remind me to go back to this page. Okay. Added to reminders. So let's say a subscription is ending or you have to pay at the end of the month for that subscription or to remind you when the money is going off of your account. So to add a reminder is you add a reminder on the bottom, press info, there you can say Canva, then you can add a URL, then you can set the date and the time so there it's it and there the link is as well so it will be easy for you to just go in and go to the website so if you go back 
they will see categories. So you can make a list at my list for you. So if you want to add a list, let's add a list and let's say groceries. So there you've made your list and there you can change the color of it. Let's make it green and you can change the icon. Done. So there is your grocery list. So on there you can add reminders of what to get. So there you can see I've made my list and if you get it at the shop you can just tap on it and there it will go grey and it will disappear so you know you've got that. So if you have family share you can have a list as well so everyone is up to date on what to be reminded of. You can also add like a folder so if you say edit, say add group. So let's name this one work say create so there is your work file so if you add a list and let's say film film ideas let's change the icon say done so then you can just press and hold and you can just put it on work and there is a drop down button and that is underneath your work file and there you can see I've added another one so everything is well organized. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I hope you can use the Reminders app more often. Please subscribe to our channel. Remember to click the bell notification button to get any notifications when you upload a video. Give this video a big thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope you guys have a lucky day. Bye! Thank you.